everybody. Welcome to Wednesdays with the YP. You know, I was scrolling through my phone this morning and I noticed one of my youth pastor friends killed a deer with a bow and arrow. And it just brought back to mind a Bible verse. And I wanted to give you a little challenge today. In Psalm 78, in verse 57, the Bible talks about how the children of Israel turned back and were unfaithful. In fact, it calls them a deceitful bow. I always wondered what that meant. So I did a little study, and you know, the, the Bible talks about how they were a deceitful bow. Now, when I read that, I think about someone picking up a bow and arrow, and just like that youth pastor today, and they're going to kill that, that, that deer, and when they pick up the, the bow to kill that deer, they miss. They put all that confidence, they put all that faith in that bow, and that bow is deceitful. What does that mean? Well, you have a good hunter. He's got all the tools. He's got a sharp arrow. He's got all that he needs to kill that deer, but the bow lets him down. Why? Well, maybe the bow was out in the weather too long or the bow was left unused too long and the bow warped. And because of that, the skilled hunter and the sharp arrow misses the target. I just want to let you know, youth pastor, your young people are counting on you. They need a spiritual, prayed up, studied up, right with God, youth pastor. They don't need a carnal, full of the world, Hollywood trained entertainment show whenever you get up to teach Sunday school or to preach to them. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs in chapter number 25 that confidence in an unfaithful man is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. They're counting on you. Let's not be deceitful bows. Let's be straight arrows because our young people are counting on us this week. Hey, I love you. Check out the YP Life website, yplife.org, for more articles from youth pastors across the nation that are straight arrows that will help you get done what you need to get done this week. God bless you. Have a good day.